So we're here with Ed DeChalice, Penn State basketball coach at the Coaches vs. Cancer Golf Tournament. As you can see, people taking off right now. Ed, you know, you were around when this thing was began and to see where it's come. Can you just tell me about kind of the pride you feel in, in what, what it's become? Well, Mark, you know, we started a small small program. I think we, we first year, it's been documented, we've only raised about $16,000. We we sat in a corner room and talked about trying to put this thing together. We're not in Friedman's... Uh, uh, and Charlene Friedman's, uh, you know, living room, having the reception, and now we're at the Jordan Center last evening with, you know, almost 400 people, and we have 77 foursomes here today. Uh, you know, 12 years ago when we started, we were, we were begging people to play, and now it's a situation where we have a full, full field. Uh, you know, that's just a credit to, I think, our committee, how hard they've worked, and I think it's more importantly a credit to the people here in the center region who've really given back, uh, not only financially, but also as uh, volunteers for this great event. And all for, you know, we think a wonderful cause of trying to generate revenue to help pipe, help people in, in some small way fight cancer. Yeah, we've talked about it uh, for other stories and things, but just cancer has really touched, hit close to home uh, with you. Can you tell me how important it is, this event, considering the things that you've gone through in your family? Well, yeah, through? you know, you lose both parents of cancer and you have your own uh, little bout with cancer. Uh, you know, it really, you realize how what, what, what important things are, and sometimes they aren't the big things, sometimes they're little things, and, and I think we've tried to do that here. We've tried to help people with, with things that we can help them with, and little things, and, and whether it be a, a hair piece for somebody that's lost their hair, or a, a mortgage payment for someone who maybe lose their house, who, and I think it's a pretty big deal, and, and so they can have a peace of mind that their family can stay together and live in a home and not have to worry. Uh, I think that's important, and uh, I've gone through this myself personally a couple times. Uh, you know, it's 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 also about did you know people out there care about you, and are willing to try to help you. And I think that's also equally important. Can you talk about the way the Penn State and and uh, Center County, I mean State College, the way everybody's embraced this from sponsors to, yeah. to fans to and I think students. that's a, and Mark, it's a great point. I think it's a credit to our program too. You know, we have a lot of former players come back from years ago that. Uh, to come back to support this event, which is important. We have people in the community uh, financially support the event and also volunteer-wise support this great event. And so it, it just wouldn't happen if, if we wouldn't have uh, support of our community. And uh, whether volunteers or sponsorships or, you know, foursomes playing in the event. And so, you know, we're hopefully going to raise over, break the million-dollar mile, milestone this weekend, and that's just a tremendous feat for, you know, a... Uh, a group that started out very, very small several years ago, and it's grown to this, you know, huge, huge event. Now, there's all, you know, we talked about the serious side of this, but boy, people come out and it looks like they have a lot of fun. I mean, well, last night, you today, know, yeah, they do have a lot of fun. Last night was great with the reception, and today golf, we've got teams out here, and they all have the same color shirts on and so forth, and uh, that's a lot of fun. And and they, you know, there's a lot of camaraderie on the course, and a lot of kidding and jada joking. They always dapper Pete Lasicki rocking the hunting shirt today. Pen dot in the house. Crew. Another nice par. You can tell me about uh, Dave, the, what kind of time you're having today at the Coaches versus Cancer event here? Awesome, great time. It's your first. Uh, it's a uh, little cold for me. Though. Yeah, exactly. I wish it would warm up. Yeah. It's your first time at this event. Yeah. Uh, how how enthusiastic are you about in participating in these kind of things, and how cool is it for you to see uh, college sports giving back, kind of in a good uh, way? It's tremendous. I mean, I think the thing that has been really interesting about this tournament that I talked about with Coach DeChellis yesterday is the fact that uh, you know they give all the money. Locally, I mean, yeah. I really think that you know we're, you can see the impact that it's going to have on the community. I think it's really neat. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yep, no problem. That's it. That's it. Nice All putt. Right, there Marilyn, you go. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Well done. Was it that coaching from Mike McQuarrie that helped yes, you? Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> doing stuff for coaches versus cancer. How important is that to you as a coach? And very important. It's a great opportunity to get out here, see some guys I was on campus with. And Obviously, it's a great cause, start? and uh, um, it's a continuing struggle, and, but, uh, right, you know, the basketball program has done some great things with it. It means a lot. It's, it's, it's always a great event. Um, it's obviously for a great cause, and um, I get to play around the golf with a great group of people and have a lot of fun, and um, hopefully try and fight this this disease. You were a player when the uh, w in the early stages of uh, the Penn State hoops being involved with Coaches versus Cancer. How cool has it been for you to see it grow the way it has grown into this with all these, I don't know how many fivesomes are playing today? It really has uh, been neat. It's grown exponentially. Um, 
when I started playing in it, uh, you know, we didn't near, have nearly the amount of people as there is today, and um, the amount of funding that they can raise uh, for the cause, I think, was over a million dollars that I saw last. Yeah. And so it's just been great. It's, uh, it's a great opportunity for me to, to contribute what I can uh, and come back and, and help out as much as I can. I got it for you. You didn't show the result, did you? Well, I'm gonna, gonna splice in the one that goes in, yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun, Coach? Having a great time. Can you tell me what it means to participate in Coaches versus Cancer, help oh, these guys out? Great cause. Uh, happy to do it. Great to get out here and have great weather for it and, uh, you know, play with a lot of good guys. Have fun. All right, thank you. So we're here with uh, Penn State Assistant Coach Danny Earle. Uh, you got off the course a little bit early this afternoon. A little, <laughs> a little bit, bit early, warm. yeah, yeah. I, uh, I put in a, a good 18 this morning and uh, tried to do another 18, didn't make it the whole way through. So, How important is this uh, coaches versus cancer? You know, you're a former player, a coach. You've seen this thing grow. Uh, what does it mean to you and what does it mean to the program? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's grown leaps and bounds since when I was a player here. Um, and it just it means the world to, to all of us. You know, it's, uh, it's for a great cause. Obviously, everybody everybody knows somebody that's uh, been inflicted with cancer, unfortunately. Um, and I think, you know, Coach Chellis has done a great job, and the committee puts in endless hours uh, to this cause. So it's just a great, great event. A lot of good people come back and support it, and obviously everybody's money helps uh, support it as well. So Nice to be able to catch up with former teammates and Absolutely. everybody else. Absolutely. It never hurts when uh, you have, you know, your former guys come back into town and tell old stories about, uh, you know, what it was like playing. So uh, it's, it's a good time to catch up, but, uh, but again, for a great cause. How's your game, Kurt? Your bad luck, Mark. That's what it is. Blame me. Yeah, exactly. Hey, could you tell me what uh, doing this Coaches versus Cancer uh, tournament means to you and the program? Well, you know, as Ed has said many times, uh, Cancer touches everybody. Yeah, it doesn't discriminate. It uh, doesn't matter who you are, what you are. And Coach Chelsea has done an amazing job to support this cause. We all believe in it. It's great that we can give back to the community. It's nice when you can make the putts, though, isn't it? Shut up, Mark. So, can I help you? Do you have a fun time coming back for this coaches versus cancer? Uh, that would be an affirmative. C. Yes. How's your golf game? Is that part of it fun or is that not fun? Well, thankfully, it is a scramble, and. Um, I got out this past week. I just got home from overseas, uh, but that really didn't help me at all so far. Where were you? Uh, back home in Allentown. My brother got me uh, got me out on the course. So, uh, but um, it's not about the golf. You know, it's about the cause and yeah, uh, and about having fun with the guys.